Hello, Scrolls fans. This is Scrolls Cast with Smogan. I just recorded a game with Rational versus Dark Wizard and saw him queuing up right afterwards against PewQ. This is a phenomenal, phenomenal matchup. Two of the strongest players in the game. PewQ is somebody I have not had the opportunity to put on my channel yet. He has been one of the strongest players in the game for the last 18 months, and of course, Rational, a super strong energy player as well. PewQ playing an order deck of sorts. I don't know if it's a more tempo build or if it's more of a mid-range late game build. I see the destiny as a big cue that it might be tempo, but uh, you never know these days. There's so many hybrid builds out there, we'll just have to wait and see what's going on. Wings Warder, Effigy of the Queen, lots of stuff in his opening hand. PQ pitches for resources and passes a turn over to Rational, who is playing a uh, mono energy range deck. It's a mid ranged ranged build. Has a first turn Dust Runner, very strong start for him. Passes it over to PQ who has a couple of options on turn two. Could go Ducal Infantry, could go Wings Warder, um, and his overall goal will be, of course, Royal Skirmisher on turn three, with that Relentless one of the more powerful scrolls for its cost, though there's a lot of choices at the Order 3 drop slot right now. Royal Skirmisher still holds on to its position in most decks. Ducal Infantryman might be my play. Save the Wings Warder for later. Um, no, no tricks are going to be coming on turn two from Rational. So PewQ just thinking about where to position these units. Has a focus in hand as well. Um, 90 matches and 31 played. Lots of wins on it. It's nice to see the uh, their stats on their cards. Um, Wings Warder actually played out instead of the Ducal Infantryman, played over to the side. So PewQ going for a more defensive start rather than, ag than an aggressive start. Rational pitches his Thunder Surge, won't need it for a while. Doesn't have a turn two play. Hired Smuggler is the uh, ideal turn two play, but is able to move up and threaten to deal at least one damage to the Swings Warder. Now, on turn three, Wing Shield and Royal Skirmisher are both options for PewQ. He sacrifices his Ducal Skirmisher, or I'm sorry, the uh, Ducal Infantryman, to go up to three and uh, can't focus the Wings Warder. It would be fun to be able to do that, but Wings Warder does not attack. Um, Wing Shield could come down or Royal Skirmisher behind. I would be tempted to play that Royal Skirmisher behind. Um, the downside to that would be that it would open the Wings Warder up to burn, and PewQ does not seem... Um, seems reluctant to allow that, so instead plays the Wing Shield up front. Note that with the Armor 1, Wing Shield will not die to Dust Runner's attack because it triggers off of damage dealt and won't deal any damage unless he plays out Machinated. Rational could play out Machinated right now and that's what he does, so that will take out the Wing Shield and not let PewQ get that, uh, um, that defensive position established. No countdown reduction in hand yet. Royal Skirmisher's still waiting to get out there, excited to get its uh, deed done, has to decide to sacrifice either Pother or Focus, gets rid of the Pother, finds a Decimation and a Winged Soldier. Um, Royal Skirmisher is going to come down behind that Wings Warder, and the turn goes over to Rational. Oculus Cannon for Rational, as well as Stormrunner and Bombard. Echomaton is an option as well. Lots of strong scrolls for Rational to play with. He could just go ahead and Bombard and take out this uh, Wings Warder. I don't, it would be a one-for-one -one trade and, and decent removal. I don't know that that's what the best play would be. I'd be more tempted to see him play out maybe Oculus Cannon or Ekamaton this turn. Note that he got rid of his Storm Runner. So that's one Storm Runner gotten rid of. Last game that was uh, really important to have that Storm Runner count known. Um, so that's one down already. Ekamaton played out front. PewQ's turn has a second Skirmisher, pitches his Winged Soldier, finds a Shield and a Wings Warder as well. Lots of Wings units in these decks. Units move to the middle, no countdown reduction yet, but Wing Shield comes down, going to solidify that defensive positioning, ready for that Royal Skirmisher to get a focused attack off next turn. Rational, three strong scrolls in hand, needs to sacrifice one, but it's not going to be an easy decision. Um, Oculus Cannon, Bombard, Hired Smuggler. He could go up to five and do Hired Smuggler, Bombard. So that would take out, um, actually Oculus Cannon Bombard's the play here. This is going to be strong and fun. Um, well, he doesn't Bombard. He decides decides not to, and I don't think he could have anyway with only five resources, so that's my mistake for getting excited. But the Oculus Cannon do, is a strong defensive scroll for only for four health on three cost. Um, we might see Decimation Focus here. What would that 
do. Maybe not quite enough. It would hit damage all of PQ's units as well, which probably isn't something he wants. But if he did do Decimation Focus, that would wipe the row, I think. That would be 3, 2, and 1. So that's 6. So yeah, Decimation Focus would wipe the row. That's that's hard to turn down, going up to 4 and doing that. That might be my play, even though it damages all of his own units. Um, his alternative would be a not Righteous Partisan now. Um, he would miss the draw on it. He does go up to 4. Are we going to see that play? His other option is just dropping one of his units. There's the decimation. Damages his whole line along with his opponents. Focus playing down. It's going to crash and deal a ton of damage. Note that Ekamaton will get the free energy off of his... Or, I'm sorry, note that Rational will get the free energy off his Ekamaton, but does lose his entire board presence, unfortunately, and tries to rebuild it by playing out a Gravelock Elder. PQ still on four resources compared to his opponent's six, but does have more cards on the board. Finds Effigy of the Queen, which is absolutely phenomenal against energy builds. Really a nightmare to deal with. With Ward itself, um, you, you gotta kill it with combat damage, and there's always stuff in front blocking for it, giving everything around it magic armor. So all of your units are unable to, uh, or all of your energy spells are unable to damage most of the Order army. That combined with Wings Warder makes these guys just so hard to kill and safe to clump up even. Um, PQ does go ahead and move his un um, one unit down to threaten the Gravelock Elder, combines it with an Aging Knight, so that is five damage being threatened on the Elder. And then another Royal Skirmisher comes down. Units are currently split because the Effigy has not come down yet. Um, Rational needs to get something in front of the Elder or it will perish, or come up with a way to uh, get some kills, but I don't know how he would do that. He could do Dust Runner Bombard, so that would with the Dust Runner in front probably would take out two of these units and just risk the Relentless Royal Skirmisher surviving. Hmm. Ironclad Reaver, Tempest Reaver, Dust Runner Bombard, it would be a two for two and but would save the Elder. And I'm saying two for two because uh, the Dust Runner would almost certainly die on the next turn. Seems like the play to make. His other option, maybe Tempest Reaver in front with that armor, would make it really tough for PQ to get the kill. It would require um, some tricks, some pothers, or some extra focuses, or something like that. PQ is certainly in the driver's seat right now. Rational's only got 25 seconds to decide what to do. I don't think the Reaver, the Ironclad Reaver, comes down. I think the option is either play Tempest Reaver just out in front and then positioning the units to be to survive or the second option I think the better option is the bombard play does go ahead and play the elder in front so risks losing it to focus but um, seems to be okay with that rather than guaranteed losing the dust runner finds with Loros super strong scroll with that resonance ability um, has ducal infantrymen as well so maybe we'll see infantrymen effigy of the queen come down and that's what we're going to see. Infantrymen up front boost the attack up to four. Effigy of the Queen comes down, so the clumped up units are basically completely safe from anything that Rational can do with spells. It's going to take combat damage to break these ranks. And you know what? Order is very good at preventing combat damage with this wing shield. So what's it going to be? Rational would love to find just more bombards. More bombards all day long. This game is going to come down to whether or not he can draw those bombards at the right time. He's already spent one that I know of. I'm having a hard time remembering if he played uh, played or drew a second one earlier in the game. But uh, goes ahead and goes up to seven, so he can do Tempest Reaver Cannonetta. Needs to defend this Gravelock Elder. He's going to want it to get an attack off, if at all possible. So he's going to want to move it away from these attacking units, and that's what he does. Tempest Reaver comes up to defend um, Cannonetta as well actually leaves the Elder exposed, so any sort of trick will allow PQ to kill it. And by trick, that could be Kabonk, Decimation, um, Blessing of Haste, Roasted Bean Potion, anything like that. PQ on four resources finds two tricks. Blessing of Haste is an option to take out that Elder. He could also um, get a Focus out and kill the Cannonetta, Reaver, and Elder this turn just with these two scrolls. That's going to be tough to resist. Though, hmm. it would ex make one of the units not next to the Effigy, which he may not be a fan of, but frankly that might be worth it to kill all three of these units. 
So the play I'm thinking would just be a focus on the wing shield or on the royal skirmisher, and then uh, moving the ducal infantryman up or the royal skirmisher up and blessing of haste on it, and then maybe wings ward are played as well to continue to defend everything. So all that would survive of rationals would be this dust runner with that play. The alternative, he can't do a Relaros and then Resonance trick because he only has four resources. He could just play out the Relaros, but um, I don't think that's as powerful as... An, okay, so here's the play. Blessing of Haste Focus comes down. Looks like he's okay letting the Elder survive and just goes ahead and crashes in and kills everything else. So chooses to let the Elder survive rather than the Dust Runner. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, burn is available, um, so that is able to take out the only unit not next to the Effigy of the Queen. Rational finds a, a scroll off of it and sacrifices it and finds a forge and a gun auto. So the forge is going to come down probably in front of this Gravelock Elder who will be able to take out the Ducal Infantryman. So that dramatically weakens Puku's board position. Still has the Effigy of the Queen, but Rational is able to strike back off of the uh, Big Order combo. Interestingly, plays the gun auto out instead of the auto forge. Um, PQ has Relaros in hand still. Is going to want to get that out as soon as he can. It's just so powerful. Um, a lot of times players like to save it until they can play Relaros and then immediately play a spell for the resonance effect. But um, now, <coughs> excuse me, now might be the time to go ahead and play out the Relaros. His other option is Ducal Skirmisher, of course, very powerful as well. Moves his uh, Royal Skirmisher behind the Effigy and then does go ahead and decide on the Ducal Skirmisher, valuing that Relentless rather than the future combat tricks. Though he can certainly save it for when he finds those combat tricks. Um, and passes the turn over to Rational. I'm getting the spectate bug again, so I'm going to have to... Okay, no, the game caught up, luckily. I was worried I was going to have to rejoin. Um, pitches his Tick Bomb, finds Hired Smuggler and Spark. Spark is useless right now. Can't do anything to any of these guys. Um, thanks to this Effigy of the Queen. Super powerful. Um, note that you can't even Tick Bomb on the Effigy of the Queen because of the ward. What I would like to see... I mean, for only two resources, this is a strong scroll, even with just four health. I mean, compared to just, like, Obelisk, it's just ridiculously stronger. Um, maybe what I would like to see is the ward change to just Magic Armor 2 on the Effigy, so it's still difficult to kill, but at least Tick Bomb would be an answer to it, so Energy would have something to do against the Effigy piles. <coughs> Excuse me, my voice is going a little bit, but uh, Hired Smuggler played out. Automaton Forge is going to be played out as well. And it's played where it can defend the gun auto. This Gravelock Elder has managed to survive for quite a while with just one health. Okay, so now we can see a Relaros combo. If PQ decides, he can play the Relaros and immediately focus on something to get that resonance trick, pumping all of his stuff and dealing just a ton of damage, wiping this row easily. Um, doesn't need the trick to wipe it because he's got 8 damage with just the focus, but could buff that 8 up to 10 and um, deal 2 idle damage. Um, could instead just drop a winged soldier or go up to 5 and play the royal vanguard. Um, could sacrifice for scrolls and do winged shoulder, soldier, focus, and then something else. But what are we going to see here? We do see that vanguard come down. So um, vanguard, super strong scroll. Gets kind of lost in the uh, Relaris hype, hype, but still super strong and does take out the forge. Um, Rational is in a position where he can do quite a bit of combat damage. Can, hmm, with the burn, can drop the swing shield to one health, which would then be enough for the Gravelock Elder or the Gun Auto to kill it. Um, or could just move the Gun Auto back, move the Elder in front. That would be two damage with the Armor 1, and then two damage to the Royal Skirmisher. And then a second Gravelock Elder could come down as well, or maybe an Ecomaton in front definitely wants something to defend this elder. So both elders will get their attack and health buffed, and so it's a 4-6 and a 4-2, taking out two units. So Rational has managed to weather the storm a little bit and is in a decent position. Fuku has tons of tricks up his sleeve, though. <coughs> With a Blessing of Haste combo here, we could see some really ugly stuff. Um, blessing of Haste would be... Let's see, 5, 8 damage coming in, enough to kill off both of these elders, add a focus to that, and that's 11 damage to wipe this row. So just with these two scrolls, that's uh, absolutely devastating for PewQ. Maybe, let's see, he could do Relaros Blessing of Haste on the uh, Vanguard, get a pump for both of those. That would be 6 and 4 for 10 damage, 
which would actually, after this health drops, would be enough to take out all three because it would only take one damage to kill the Gravelock Elder after the first drops. So that would actually be my play. So he wants to move the Dur Ducal Skirmisher behind, Relaross in the middle. Here's where you're going to see that, uh, that super cool combo. I want to see the Ducal Skirmisher move back behind so bad. I want it. Oh, actually, um, stacks things differently. The trigger only hits the... Yeah, he stacked that actually incorrectly. So the way to do that, to get that kill, would have been to have the Relaross over here to the side. But the downside of that, it would have done one more damage to the gun auto, but the downside would have been um, exposing the Relaross to combat damage. As it is now, it's actually exposed to Violent Dispersal. Um, though it would still be exposed even with Magic Armor 2, no matter where it was positioned. Um, but the Violent Dispersal can kill uh, quite a f any number of these units. Um, but chooses to save it, plays a forge down to the bottom. We'll see if he wants to deal combat damage or just draw a scroll off of his hired smuggler. And can also play out an Ecomaton or a Cannonetta. Chooses the Ecomaton, plays it in row 4 in the middle rank, and draws another forge off of his hired smuggler. Decimation for Pew Q. He's certainly not blitzing down idols right now, but he is just establishing really strong board control around this effigy of the queen has righteous partisan won't draw a scroll off of it right now so i doubt we'll see that come down though we could see it just in combo with the wing soldier but choosing instead to play out just another strong relentless unit and preparing for a super strong uh attack combo right now the only downside to these uh effigy plays is uh it really just takes up a lot of your um one of the more valuable resources for order players just your spaces on the board. So with this effigy down, it's really difficult to get all these units next to each other. Note that his Vanguard and Relaross are not touching, so Relaross isn't going to get that boost, but they are going to be both in position to boost the Skirmisher. But anyway, focusing on the on Rational's play, he is able to buy on the Dispersal. Eight damage, reduced to six, but just enough to take out the Royal Vanguard. Um, and down to two resources now. We'll have to decide if he wants to deal two combat damage to this Ducal Skirmisher. The Hired Smuggler is dead to rights. Nothing he can do. Needs to keep it over on the side so that if QQ wants to kill it, he'll have to move away from the safety of the Effigy of the Queen and the rest of his um, royal army. Ecomaton moved to the safe, back to safety behind the forge. And <clears throat> nothing else really for Rational to do but think carefully about his positioning. Actually chooses to deal idle damage. So, again, if uh, Pew Q is going to want to kill it, he is going to have to move out from behind the, uh, his statue. Just a statue on a table. It tremendously impacts the game for something that uh, isn't, isn't as impressive, perhaps, as a unit with a couple of swords or a giant two-handed sword of doom. Um, Royal Inspiration and Roasted Bean Potion. Royal Inspiration is a strong scroll that becomes a phenomenal scroll once uh, Dominion is established. So, Pew Pew could look to try to do that. He could... I don't think he can get it this turn um, without investing just way too many resources to do so. But um, maybe we'll see Roasted Bean Potion come down. He could get that up to four. Roasted Decimation comes down. This is a clever play. So Decimation and then Roasted Bean Potion is going to get this guy up to five attack. Uh, it will trigger this Ecomaton twice. Um, not quite enough to kill off both. Maybe that's what he was thinking. Is able to take out the Hired Smuggler up top. Now, interesting decision. What do you do with these units? Does take out the Forge and is in, is in a spot now where he's going to lose that Relaross if uh, Rational decides to do so. So, nice tricks by PewQ, but it came at the cost of exposing all of his units. Sacrifice, rational sacrifices burn. It's just it's hard to sacrifice burn, but against this effigy, you just got to do it all pretty frequently. All these units have four health anyway. Um, eight resources to play with. Could see violent dispersal come down. Um, Relaross is going to drop to the Ecomaton. So choosing now between basically Ironclad Reaver and violent dispersal, I think, are his two choices. Either way, Gun Auto will come down in combination with the other. Um, well, if he chooses the Reaver, he can then choose to get out the Cannonetta. So. Reaver comes down. It's in the middle rather than in front of the Ecomaton. <coughs> and then either Cannonetta or Gun Auto is the play. Does go ahead and move the Reaver down in front of the Ecomaton, intelligently so. And Gun Auto played instead of Cannonetta in the middle back rank. Ecomaton preparing to charge headlong and headbutts Relaross to death. Pew Q 
Still has Royal Inspiration, Blessing of Haste, and a couple of units. Pitches the Inspiration, draws two scrolls, has, finds another Relaros. Perfect timing. Um, Righteous Partisan still in a position where he's not able to draw a scroll off of it. It draws when, after it comes into play, if you have equal or less dies than your opponent. So he would have four compared to his opponent's three. So maybe we'll just see Wing Soldier and uh, Wing Shield come down, and that's what we see. Everything bunches up around the effigy, and two Relentless guys ready to attack next turn. Rational can't see what he drew yet, but we will soon, I'm sure. Um, Got to think about what he can do to take out at least one of these guys so he doesn't lose his whole army. Finds Bombard. Now that only helps the gun auto. Pitches Cannon out of Finds Tick Bomb, which is useless, and Gun Automaton. Not a, nothing crazy he can do with the Bombard play right now. Doesn't have Machinated in hand. Doesn't have Stormrunner in hand. Settles on a Violent Dispersal, taking out the Ducal Skirmisher. It's a good play by Rational, but note that he did have to invest 6 resources to kill a 4 resource unit that's already done a lot of work on the game. So PQ does get uh, the advantage on that trade, but it's something Rational just has to do. Doesn't really have any other option. Moves his units. Um, to all be on this fourth rank, so they are safe, as safe as possible at least, from this Ducal Skirmisher, but in a position where they can move down and try to finally get some damage on this Effigy of the Queen. Though, with just this Wing Shield in front, that's already enough to uh, defend it from this entire onslaught. Would take two damage, and then zero damage, and then would finally die to the Akamaton. Um, so Rational will need a trick. Speaking of tricks, PQ has tons of them in his hand. Roasted Bean Potion, Blessing of Haste, Decimation. As Relaros as well. Um, let's see, what's the play here? If the Relentless unit was on the other side, we would see a lot more hurt coming Rational's way. Um, Decimation, just to take out this Ecomaton, seems to be worth it. Boy, maybe. Can't really follow that up with anything impressive, though. I guess he could roast a Beam Potion over, but even that doesn't do all that much. Instead, choosing just to. Sacrifice the Effigy of the Queen, he's okay with losing it, and uh, plays a Royal Vanguard and starts to build up around it. So Rational does have nice tricks, but is out of range to be able to use any of them other than just killing off his Effigy. Um, let's see. Spark could take out the Wing Soldier. That's nice. Um, Bombard doesn't do anything. So there's the Spark. Does take out the Wing Soldier. Has Desperation in hand. That's a nice little trick. Um... Hired Smuggler will come down, won't see Bombard played this turn, has to think about what to do with his effigy. He could move up the Ironclad Reaver, but might prefer to let it get a pillage hit off. Could just move up the Ekamaton, but uh, the Ekamaton does have higher attack and a threat of getting even higher. So he seems to be willing to risk the Ironclad Reaver instead of the Ekamaton. That does get him a little bit of extra idle damage. So I can't be too upset at him for that play. Moves the Ekamaton down to spread out the idle damage a little bit. And that'll bring this one down to 5, this one down to 6. And the Hired Smuggler comes down behind as well. Bombard and Desperation in hand for future tricks. PQ in round 17. Thinking about what to do here. Again, his hand filled with tricks, filled with strong units. No focus, though. Something he, you always want to have in hand is uh, orders focus if you can. You can do so much with that scroll. Um, maybe Rational was uh, playing around Decimation, knowing that uh, his unit was vulnerable to it, and so separated it. So that might have been a nice uh, nice foresight, if that was the case. Um, but PQ, Relaros could come down. Royal Skirmisher could come down. Still hasn't sacrificed, so could go up to... Um, could go up to 6, do Relaros... Boat Roasted Bean Potion, um, get a trigger up to 4, and, well, I guess that wouldn't be all that impressive, but could just do Relaros Blessing of Haste, which would take out this Ironclad Reaver with Relaros in the middle. That would be pretty impressive. Actually pit, gets rid of his unique unit for resources, up to 6 now. Lots of tricks are going to be coming, whatever happens. Note the Royal Vanguard is uh, one countdown away from triggering everybody, so could see double countdown manipulation and a lot of damage dealt maybe. Roasted Bean Potion, and Blessing of Haste. So Royal Vanguard could double move if he wants, and that could actually take out uh, this entire row. And, oh, if he stacks it correctly, could Decimation on the Ironclad Reaver as well. But no, instead he's content just to deal some idle damage, solidify his board position, and uh, play out another Royal Skirmisher. 
So Gun Auto is going to get a chance to attack here. Oh, Thunder Surge. That's what Rational wants to see on eight resources, too. We could see a Thunder Surge Desperation combo um, to, well, not take anything out. I guess he could Desperation the Wing Shield. That would be the play. Desperation the Wing Shield and then move the Gun Auto up to take the Royal Skirmisher out. That's the play I would make, and then move everything else up to threaten. Though you have to be careful of more uh, countdown reduction that would uh, deal a lot of damage to your units. Ekamaton up to 9 attack at a 9 1 1. Um, emergency situation for PQ, perhaps. Uh, we're going to see that desperation come down because otherwise the gun auto would not deal anything to the wing shield. Um, so that takes out the uh, Skirmisher and Bag. That has the same effect. It reduces the Wingshield armor to one, so the same units are going to die. So no difference there. Um, and does go ahead and move up. So he is at risk of losing some of these units to Countdown Reduction, but PQ really spent a lot of that Countdown Reduction already. So Rational, in a strong position now, has managed to recover from being behind for most of the game. Decimation still in hand for PQ. Has Royal Inspiration, but all that does is Cantrip right now. Um, Really at its strongest, of course, when Dominion's out, and then also when Relaross is on the field, so you can get a bonus off of playing that spell. So maybe that's what needs to be sacrificed, unless he wants to be sure to draw a Soldier unit. There are only six left in his deck, so he might uh, might gra grab one from the graveyard. Could be anything. Um, pitches it, doesn't find much. No countdown reduction, which is what he really, really wanted. Um, maybe Decimation is the play, just not taking out, the, well he could decimate to take out this middle idol and then royal inspiration to draw two scrolls. That's that's like really good card advantage, but the downside is then you have a 13 attack Ekamaton doing whatever it wants all game. Um, so, But that's what he does. He goes ahead and decimates. So the Ekamaton just goes up to 11 because the uh, second spell was not played, but um, PQ is okay losing some idols here. Note that he is actually in a position to threaten Rational's idols as well. So uh, Rational needs to figure out what to do here to uh, save these guys and kill these units. He has the tools, though: Stormrunner, Oculus Cannon, Dust Runner, Bombard, as well as all these, as well as having all these guys on the field. I don't think he can win the game this turn. He can take out two idols definitely, or he can take out the middle idol and deal just a ton of damage to all of these units. But has to think carefully about how to stack it. I think the play personally is Oculus Cannon in front with. Um, and then just go ahead and play out Bombard, and then uh, move these two units down. That will deal 4, 2, 1, and then 2, and then 2. That will take out um, pretty much everything. He could sa save the Hired Smuggler and play out Dust Runner behind instead, or he could do a Storm Runner play. Really, any number of choices to take out most, of most if not all, of PQ's stuff. Here comes that Bombard play. What's that going to hit? Um, I don't know. He needs to move two units down to kill those two units. He only has 12 seconds to decide. Lots of maneuvering left to do. Wants to get that Ekamaton into the middle to take out the high health idol, I'm sure. Needs to think quickly. Uh, Dust Runner comes down. Gun Auto moves up. And PQ goes ahead and surrenders. So he sees the writing on the wall, losing his whole army and most of his idols. Doesn't think he can come, to come back. And I suppose that's what happens when the Temple Order deck is not able to win the game before the 25-minute mark. Well done to Rachel, able to come back from the uh, early, being down early, and then finally winning the game. This has been Smogan with Scrolls Cast. Thank you guys for watching.